name is Peston. I live in Cape Town. Also, I do uh, delivery. Interbed helped me to realize my dreams. Now I have my own delivery vehicle and I'm able to do the removal in and around Cape Town. Ninth and final race is the Hollywood Bets Bright Future. Phillies and Mayors 69 handicap over 1,600 metres. The last race goes off at 16.30. We've got three interviews for you. So let's hear from Duncan Howells, Wayne Bardnost and Garth Puller. French Princess, uh, it depends on how she jumps out the gates. If she gets away on terms, I think she could run into quartet. Forged in ice, um, doing very well at home. Um, yeah, she's been doing well last time. She jumped a little bit sluggish. Um, Serena just dropped her at the back. She ran on very nicely. Got a draw this time. Daryl back on. Um, expecting another nice run from her. Uh, she's honest. It's, she'll be trying. Four Shaw's just come to us and uh, she came in very good condition. Very fit filly. It's a bit difficult to judge how we'll do out the maidens, but I feel that on what I'm seeing at home, she's more than capable of running into the first three. Two minds, um, shows potential. She won from up there. She ran a good race from up there. Then she come from behind and run. So she's not drawn well, but I want to try something different with her. I want her to come from off the pace and, and let her finish. She's got potential, but she's been a bit frustrating. The early favourite is number three, Four Shaw, the three-year-old daughter of Wiley Hall, making her debut for the Duncan Hall Stable, as we heard there from Duncan. Last time won its maiden at uh, this course, beating Lady Canton by two and a half lengths. So we'll have to wait and see how she goes. But uh, there's not a whole lot of form to go around. Uh, number eight, Givers Grace, certainly has the ability to win a race of this sort. Number four, Devils and Dust, is a dual winner. And uh, she's won over course and distance. And again, I say Musi Yeni has got a nice book of rides. So you've got to throw in number four, Devils and Dust. But uh, Warren, I'm really interested in Wayne Barden, North runner. And uh, I'm pleased to hear him report that she's doing so well at home. She's easy to back in the market. 10 and 12 to 1, the five-year-old mare by Water Winter. Now, she obviously has her limitations. It's a level 69 handicap. She's had one win from 17 starts, five seconds third and two fourths but what interests me is that all of her recent racing has been on the poly track she's had one start on the turf over 1600 meters at hollywood bed scottsville and that she ran second in it was a long time ago in the meantime her rating is dropping so she has a first start on the turf track from a nice draw of a very competitive rating and i'm going to stick my neck out and say that perhaps number two forged in ice is the one they all have to beat that being said, obviously foreshore devils and dust and give us grace lively chances. Just one more to maybe add to the list uh, for trifectas and quartets number nine, Miss Gibson. I watched the race with Yogis Governor at Hollywood Bed Scottsville, at Hollywood Bed Scottsville last time, and uh, she really, really flew. Did Miss Gibson from an impossible position, um, with not much uh, you know, distance left to race, and she ran fourth close up to us, Busted Key. So. She really motored home, and Yogis was so over the moon with that performance, and uh, he had every right to. 52 and a half, Nicholas Patel's going to ride Miss Gibson. Again, uh, for me, a strong place chance more than a winning one. So that's just one horse that I wanted to add to your list, because two forged and ice, three foreshore, four devils and dust, eight givers grace, look to be the principal contenders, but throw in Miss Gibson for trifectas and quartets. Foreshore, always on the fence with a recent maiden winner. Give us grace uh, and forged in ice on my main two. Yeah, so my main three, as I mentioned, would be forged in ice, uh, four sure, devils in dust, and give us grace. That adds up to four, I think. So my main four would be those quartets. But like you, I do think number nine, Miss Gibson, has a chance of running into the back end of trifectas and quartets. The ca same comment applies uh, to Fanny Broncos runner, Rosie Lemon. Interestingly, if you go back in her form line, uh, she once upon a Sunday ran second in the Maidens behind Future Pearl mm. um, and then came out and beat Bushveld. But that was a long time ago. Recent form is not that great. Uh, but I respect the Highfeld Raiders when they come here, certainly as far as trifectas and quartets are concerned. But my each way play of the day at big odds of 10 and 12 to 1 in the last race, number two, Forged in Ice. Good fun days like these are, are great. You get the whole industry together. Um, 
and to have you know companies um, and corporations like Interbet and Cape Racing who are uh, so generous with um, sort of time and, um, and energy into, into making a day like this possible is uh, it's, it's fantastic for everyone.